If you're new to this magical realm of text prompts and image creation, you might find yourself pondering how to conjure the perfect picture. Now, let me share a little secret with you. Midjourney might seem like an almighty sorcerer, but it can only work its magic based on the information that you provide. Imagine you stumble upon a masterpiece that steals your breath, and excitedly you turn to your friend and you begin to describe it in vivid detail. Just like entrusting a friend to find that perfect piece of art, when you provide Midjourney with a loose and whimsical text prompt, you open the door to the realm of unpredictability. It's like giving your friend the task of finding an animal picture without specifying the species. Will they return with a mischievous monkey, a majestic lion, or a whimsical narwhal? The anticipation is part of the thrill. And remember that prompt engineering is all about experimentation. Try different approaches, play with words, and watch as Midjourney weaves its visual enchantments. Well, together, we're going to unlock the secrets of prompt crafting and unveil the wonders that await. Lights, camera, action! Let the captivating adventure begin! Alright, so here's what you need to consider when writing a prompt for Midjourney. The punctuation. Oh, the whimsical world of punctuation and its dance with Midjourney. Let me weave a tale for you, where commas and periods pirouette in the realm of imagination, and double hyphens and semicolons take center stage. Commas elegantly twirl, directing the flow of thoughts like maestros of organization. Periods gracefully mark the end of a sentence, allowing ideas to take a breath before the next enchanting paragraph begins. This said, the only punctuation that Midjourney understands is the following. The double hyphens with a flourish gracefully delimit the bounds of Midjourney's understanding. Aha! They exclaim! For example, double hyphen AR169 or double hyphen V5, ushering in a world of specific dimensions and variable values. The double semicolons, they elegantly juggle integers, positive and negative, whispering their secrets to Midjourney. Double semicolon 0.5 they announce, invoking the power of weighted preferences in the grand tapestry of creativity. Oh, the spaces, they separate each query. Though not always critical, they allow for clarity and ease, ensuring that their requests flow harmoniously, like dancers in perfect synchrony. Exclusion. Midjourney does not understand exclusion. Here's the result when you ask Midjourney for a bicycle without wheels. It's very difficult to remove an element with Midjourney. Nevertheless, you can try to solve it by adding a double hyphen no and then the element to remove instruction. Moving on, it's time to give structure to your prompt. To make sure that your prompts are all structured with the same base and therefore easy to modify, here's the structure that you should follow. The image style. Now, here's a secret to unlocking the true essence of your desired image in Midjourney. In the first part of your prompt, you hold the power to shape its very definition. If you leave it blank, well, you might end up with a result like this. However, you can ask Midjourney to imitate the style of a specific painting or even a beloved cartoon character. It's like asking an artist to channel the spirit of Van Gogh and create a masterpiece in his unique style. Here's an example, Van Gogh style painting of a lion. To unleash the power of photorealism, there are a few essential points to consider. First, you have the freedom to choose the type of camera that the AI should emulate. Fancy a vintage touch? Go for the SLR film camera. Looking for more of a modern vibe? Opt for the DSLR or the digital SLR. The choice is yours, my photography enthusiast. But that's not all. You can even specify the type of lens you desire. Will it be the versatile 35mm lens, the classic 50mm lens, or perhaps an epic zoom with a 250mm lens? The lens you select will play a crucial role in shaping the perspective and depth of your photograph. And don't forget the recommendations, my detail-oriented friend. Preceded by the double hyphen, these little instructions allow you to guide the AI in specific areas. You can influence the AI version, whether version 4 or version 5, image format, 3, 2, 16, 9, and so on, or even style parameters, like S100 for medium, S250 for high, or S750 for very high. It's like giving Midjourney a gentle nudge to fine tune its photographic prowess. So here's what Midjourney generates when asked, photo with the Canon RS 50mm DSLR of the Lion, double hyphen V5, double hyphen AR32, double hyphen S750, 
hyphen no camera. Just a little aside that's important, the no camera remark prevents Midjourney from inserting a Canon R5 into the picture. Once you've found the resolution that suits you to generate your image, you've done the hardest part. What's left simply requires you to let your imagination run wild. The subject. In the example just before, our subject was the lion. Now, when it comes to creating prompts with multiple subjects, it's important to give Midjourney as much detail as possible. Instead of just saying a bunch of flowers, try specifying the type of flowers, their colors, and their arrangement. And if you have multiple subjects like a group of people, be sure to indicate the number of individuals involved. For example, instead of saying a group of lions, say a pack of three lions. This is what Midjourney generates when submitted with this prompt. Photo with a Canon R5, 50 millimeter, DSLR, pack of three lions, V5, AR32, S750, no camera. And next up, the environment. Now let's add a captivating context to your image. With Midjourney's incredible capabilities, we can transform your subjects into lifelike scenes that defy imagination. So picture this, our pack of three lions strolling through the bustling streets of San Francisco. So we could then propose a prompt to Midjourney such as, photo with a Canon R5, 50 millimeter, DSLR, pack of three lions walking through the streets of San Francisco, V5, AR32, S750, no camera, and here's the result. Admittedly, the AI sometimes has trouble counting to three, but let's face it, the result is still amazing. The lighting. Ah, the magic of lighting. Different times of day can dramatically alter the colors and contrast of a scene. And fear not, for Midjourney possesses the incredible ability to replicate these nuanced lighting variations. Let's ask Midjourney to generate a photo of a lion in San Francisco by adding the word golden hour. The prompt would look like this. Photo with a Canon R5, 50 millimeter, DSLR. A lion walking in the streets of San Francisco, golden hour. V5, AR32, S750, no camera. And the result. Finally, the angle of view. Indeed, the viewing angle of an image can be a game changer, allowing you to portray your subjects in unique and captivating ways. And with Midjourney, you can play with these angles to create the perfect composition. Let's explore some exciting examples of viewing angles that you can incorporate into your prompts for Midjourney. For breathtaking distant shots, you can specify a wide angle shot, or even go for an ultra wide angle to captivate an expansive view. You could also try a far shot to emphasize the distance or opt for an aerial view or satellite view to witness your scene from above as if soaring through the skies. And if you're aiming for medium shots, consider a medium shot to provide a balanced perspective. For a unique twist, try a top-down shot to view the scene from above or a ground shot for a low vantage point. You can also experiment with a low angle shot or a high angle shot to add drama and depth. And for capturing the entire subject, a full shot, full body shot, or full length shot will do the trick. When you want to get up close and personal, delve into the world of eye level shots to establish a connection with your subject. A detailed close up for a glamorous glamour shot can add a touch of intimacy. And if you want to explore the intricate details, don't forget about the wonders of macro shots or macro photography, where even the tiniest elements come to life. Here's what we get with the following prompt. Aerial view with the Canon R5, 50 millimeter, DSLR, streets of San Francisco, golden hour, V5, AR32, S750, no camera. And there you have it. By following each of the steps you've explored, you now possess the power to generate any image your heart desires with Midjourney. Good prompts are the key to unlocking the perfect image where you have control over the resolution, details, viewing angle, and lighting. With Midjourney, you're not limited to reality alone. You can create your very own universe by infusing your prompts with vibrant information about colors, atmosphere, and shapes. 
Let your imagination soar as you paint the canvas of your dreams. And if you're ready to take your visual creations to unprecedented heights, let me introduce you to Abyss Sail. By combining the extraordinary visual prowess of Midjourney with Abyss Sail's unparalleled scalability and automation, you'll have the ultimate toolkit for unleashing a whole new level of visual creation. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe and like button, join our creative community, and let your imagination take flight. Together, we'll reshape the boundaries of visual creation and create a world filled with awe-inspiring art. See you in the next video.